Hi, some teachers wanted to create a Google site to do like a class blog or a place where students can post projects they've worked on from home. Um, I wanted to show you how to do that in case that's something you want to create for your students. Um, there are other sites you could use like Blogger or you know Blogspot, the same thing. Um, but I think Google Sites is a pretty easy way of doing it because it's already part of our class accounts. Um, especially for younger students, I think that Blogger is something they can't use if they're under 13 or under some age. So um, I'm going to show you how to do a Google site if that's something that you want. Um, so in your email, in that waffle icon, um, oh, just a moment, let me share my screen. So in my email, under that waffle icon here in the top right, you want to go down to Sites. And um, it should open up something like this. Um, it's been a little finicky lately because I have two Google accounts. One is, here we go. Um, one is my personal one that just opened by default. So this is my work one. Um, I'm just going to hit create. This is what it should look like for you. And you have two options here. I clicked on in new sites because it's a little more user friendly and easy to work with. Okay, so it'll pop up and you have a lot of options here. Um, I'm gonna switch to the tab of a site that I've created just to show you, there we go. Um, you can change the theme. There are some here, um, you can even change the colors in the theme to change how it looks. Um, you have a home page and you can add additional pages. So right now we have home and then one additional page. This insert um, is important to add the content that you want. So I, I clicked down here and I, we wanted to add pictures with maybe a caption. And so we added this box and it's just going to add underneath the last one. Um, you can add more than one and just kind of click it to insert underneath. You can do the same in the other page. So this is the other page. And we had a different box here. So here you can delete that section. There are a lot of them, so it did delete. It just doesn't look like it. There we go. Um, duplicate, section background. Um, similarly, once you're on this page, you go back to insert, and then you can insert more, more things here. So I think it's this one to add another one. Um, you can also add in some other options. So down here, well, at the top, you can add a text box, your own images, um, something from Drive. And then down here, there are even more options. So if you want to link to a Google Slideshow, you can do that. If you want to link to a Google document that everyone can add to, you can do that. Um, if you want to link to a YouTube video that you've done, you can do that. Um, so if you click any of these, it will, well, there we go. It's going to go to your documents page. And here we go. Um, so this just added a link to the document with um, support for CDS at home. I'm going to delete that so it doesn't stay there. Um, so there are a lot of really cool options that you have. Um, when you're ready to, you can share with others. So you can invite people by either doing it individually or doing, you know, student 2022 for the entire sixth grade class. Once you've added them, you can go up here and then change whether they are um, an editor or a viewer. So if it's something you just want your students to see, then you want them to just view. Um, if you want them to be able to add to it, so to add pictures, to add um, like a blog entry, then you want them to be editors. So you want to make sure that that's set in that way. Um, when you're done or when you want to update it, you always have to hit publish. 
just so that it's it, your changes have been updated. Um, you can insert this into your Google Classroom as well. So one way to do that here is the way you can get to the link for the site. I'm just gonna copy that link and go into a Google Classroom here. So you can add an and then add, and you can add a link. There we go. Um, and then if you want it to be under one of your topics, you can choose that and post. So under the topic, it'll look like this, and it should just pop up for them. Yeah, so I know here it says, in the preview, it says sign in. Um, it might say that, but like you saw, if I just click on it because I'm already signed into my Google account, it just popped up with the page. Um, and then if you're a student's an editor, then they can add to it by clicking this little pencil button and it will take them to the edit page. And they can, they can add things in there. Um, yeah, so I just wanted to show you that option if that's something you're interested in. I am happy to help you with that further if you're having issues or you want to do more than just those basics that I just showed you. So good luck. <laughs>